International iGaming News is brought to you by Matchbook. This week we take a look at a new bill recently introduced in Illinois. Plus, what do the people of New Jersey really think about online gaming being legalized? And finally, we follow a new acquisition by Boyd Gaming Corporation. Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom with this week's International iGaming News, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Illinois Senate President John Cullerton has introduced a bill which would legalize online gambling in the state. The bill HB 4148 calls for the creation of a division of internet gaming, which would operate with the supervision of the Department of the Illinois State Lottery. Under the proposed bill, the Division of Internet Gaming would be the only entity authorized to operate internet gambling in Illinois. We'll be contacting the state for an interview shortly to discuss these new plans. Moving further east now, New Jersey residents want to gamble. A recent poll conducted by Adam Geller, Chief Executive Officer for Republican polling firm National Research Incorporated, shows that a majority of 74% of New Jersey residents support legalizing online gambling. When SBR interviewed New Jersey State Senator Raymond Lesniak, he made it very clear that he intends for New Jersey to become the Silicon Valley of online gaming. However, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie backed out of a speaking engagement on Thursday at a gambling conference at the New Revel Casino, leading Christie to believe the move was tied to his future national political hopes. In 2011, Governor Chris Christie famously vetoed a gambling bill that would have allowed New Jersey to become the very first state to offer online gambling. Senator Lesniak referenced his veto during last week's State Assembly Gambling Committee meeting, saying that New Jersey lost out on approximately $210 million as a result. Lawmakers took steps to address Governor Chris Christie's concerns in the last year, and many experts believe that New Jersey has all its ducks in row this time around to be one of the very first states to offer online gambling. In other news now, Boyd Gaming Corporation has announced it will acquire casino and racetrack operator Peninsula Gaming for a whopping $1.45 billion. News of the acquisition raised Boyd Gaming's shares by 6%. The deal will add five casinos to Boyd Gaming Group, which already includes 10 properties in Las Vegas and eight throughout other parts of the United States. The deal is expected to close by the end of the year. As always, I will keep you up to date with all the international iGaming news as and when it happens. Thank you for tuning in. I've been your host, Natalie Rydstrom, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Be sure to catch Tuesday's installment of SBR Industry News, where I'll be discussing all of your sportsbook issues with SBR's dispute analyst, Justin Seven.